I'm going to show you how I made a dipole antenna. CQDX 309 Central Iowa, standing by. Come on in here, 309, 605 point is right at you. What's up guys, Corey the Random Guy here. Today I'm going to show you, I've already got it mostly constructed, but I'll show you what I did. I have a homemade dipole, okay? This is a half wave, quarter wave on each end. And as you guys can see, there's something totally different here. I don't have a connector on here because this part right here is going to be permanent. But you see the strings here. This is for helping support the wire when it's up in the air. And I'm going to cover all of that up with black tape. Now, I have not put it up yet to tune it in or anything quite yet. I'm, I'm actually about to go outside and do that now. Let's go ahead, get this outside, tune it, and then we'll tape up all of this stuff. And the whole idea here is to make it to where you can take it anywhere. This is flexible 12 gauge wire with some string. I'm gonna add more zip ties to it all the way down. Or I could just take some black tape and run it all the way down the wires here. You guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But as I was saying, the whole point of this is to be able to take this antenna anywhere, use it anywhere, and be fine. Especially in a grid down scenario. So, let's go outside, let's go tune this thing in, and we'll get it done. It's dark out here, but I'm going to show you anyway. Here, I'm going to kick on this light here. We've got this dipole going. I'm tuning it now, cutting off each end a little bit at a time. I know this in between trailers is probably not the ideal condition however it'll work it's still up in the red zone i've got the cb on the ground here with the coax running along and going up to the dipole i got the little power supply sitting there plugged in which is being supplied from the house let me show you real quick what it looks like before i tune it and then after and who knows maybe it will never tune just due to the fact that i probably didn't make it right or Whatever the case is, but this is all a learning curve, you know? I'm using, the flashlight that I'm using is that jump starter flashlight. Right now we are on channel one. It's already set to forward. It's already set. Go back down. It's just above three. And channel 40 is a tad bit higher. So we're gonna cut it down. We're gonna keep working this antenna. Hopefully I can get it to tune in. If not, then I may have to go back to the drawing board, but this is a very tedious process. So let me go ahead and get this thing tuned in and we'll cut back in. All right, guys, I could not get it to tune. I'm gonna admit defeat on this one. When it gets more light, I'll bring the camera out. And with the magic of video editing, it's gonna take one split second for you guys but tomorrow i will bring the camera out show you guys what i have i still have the dipole hanging up so until tomorrow all right guys it's the next day now let me show you in better detail what i made here here is the dipole the homemade dipole this is some braided wire 12 gauge the the whole idea behind this is to be able to roll it up and use it wherever you need to well last night as of last night i have been defeated I cannot get this thing to tune. I, it's right around three to one, and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe these connections here are causing issues. Uh, it could be the fact that the end is cut off of this coax here. I don't know. It's going to be back to the drawing board, or it could be the fact that these ends here are just still too long. I mean, I cut them at 140 four inches to give me some room so I can tune it. Let me know in the comments below if maybe it's these trailers. I got one trailer here and I got mine. Causing the issue for it not to be tuned in. You guys can see I've got it set up tied off right there, going across and tied up over there. That's all I got for this one. I mean, it's kind of crappy right now that I can't get this thing to tune. I might screw with it a little bit more today. I might cut some more off. I'm going to measure these first, see how long they actually are, and then I'll decide if I'm going to still tweak with it or anything like that. But before I do anything, I'm going to let you guys let me know in the comments below on what to do with this and see what we can do from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm open to suggestions. Like I said, we're all in a learning process here. Me, for one, I am definitely learning about a lot when it comes to antennas. I hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys on the next one.